everyone Vina loves it's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News I said this in the last video I did about them and I'm going to say it again when Emeralds and 21 Savage got together it was just like uh, odd couple what's going on to a lot of people this is fake this cannot be real while we Emerald with 21 Savage of, of all people and I'm just like uh, similarities this is what she liked this girl uh, dated Machine Gun Kelly, okay, skinny, tall, a rapper, white, whatever you want to say, white mix, whatever, he, you know, skinny, tall, a rapper, I'm not about the race and color, whatever, it's, that's what she's into, he's skinny, he's tall, a rapper, have tattoos all over the place, Wiz Khalifa, her ex-husband, skinny, tall, a rapper, dreads in his hair, <laughs> 21 Savage, skinny, tall, a rapper so I didn't understand the shock from a lot of people even when she was paired with Wiz it was like why why you know Wiz but that's what she's into yes Kanye West was a rapper not skinny not tall but he was a rapper so I don't understand you know the shock when she got with 21 Savage but you know people are starting to you know accept their relationship which and ran 21 on kids at the end of the day they're the ones that are with each other loving each other sleeping with each other spending time with each other so they don't care about what people accept or not as long as they accept each other love each other and their family accept them for who they are that's all that matters but they are so cute now you all know Emma's signature you know bald or buzz haircut you know that's it but she decided to keep her wig and switch it up and she and 21 was at the um, VMAs yesterday looking great I love her dress I love everything about her look most people wasn't feeling the hair but hey sometimes different is shocking but she and 21 just had an amazing time and these images are just cute but she took the uh, social media and she posted images of her own um i'm gonna just let you guys read the caption i'm not gonna repeat some of the things that she posted in the caption you know every time amber posts she's a grown woman she's having fun with her man you know people are like oh what happened when, when your son grew up and read that like let the woman live leave her alone you know she posted this other image it's all yours baby um she posted this one get you someone that looks at you the way i look at him like they are really in love with each other he also went ahead and um posted an image on his page you know of her and um he <laughs> they look cute and he captioned this picture now she hates lames the heart emoji and his hashtag right, and i get the the doubters you know i completely understand when a relationship is brand new you know everything is hot and heavy in the beginning and all of that and then so for the people who's going to come and say of course they're in love they've been together for two seconds you know whatever the case might be that's what life is all about you give love a shot you go all you know all in and all out and if it works out great if it doesn't you keep it moving you know I don't understand when people get stuck on the oh they're not gonna last they're not gonna end <laughs> you know it's a part of life it's normal for the relationship and, and things not to last and it's normal for it to last sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't if that was the case Will Smith wouldn't be married for over 20 years to Jada if he had just said my first marriage failed and so I'm just not going to you understand what I'm saying sometimes some things last his first marriage didn't because that wasn't the one for him he tried it didn't and now his his second marriage he's been there for over two decades you know and then and so on and so forth so just because a couple's together, they're having fun, they're happy, and all of those things, it doesn't always have to be the negative. Oh, it's gonna last for two seconds. That's what life is all about. You're not, you're not revealing or attacking them on anything they don't already know. So what if it lasts for two seconds? That's two seconds that they were in love, that they got to experience love and enjoy each other. So with that being said, I'm really wishing Emma Rose and 21 the best you know I'm not here to talk about what people are into what this person look like hey beauty is in the eyes of the beholder and Emma Rose love it so be it <laughs>
<laughs> so she's so in love with him talking about marriage and all of that and I'm wishing them nothing but the best um, it looks like Emma went ahead and bought him jewelry or something like that um, and he was on Instagram and he he posted about it on Instagram and his his caption what he wrote on the picture is just the sweetest thing ever Okay. You know, so you know, she's really, really in love with him and serious about this guy. And you know, it looks like the feeling is mutual. So I'm hoping that you know they're able to make it work, you know, because heartbreak is no joke. But I'm sure if they don't work out, she would be just fine, he would be just fine. But I guess she get she gave him this blinked out rank with 21 on it and he captioned it excuse my nails i'll go against the word about you at emma rose how sweet is that and i know exactly what he's talking about because people don't understand her heart she's very misunderstood you know this woman is out here you know doing things for um rape victim sexual assault victim I, I don't like calling people victim i like calling them survivors you know survivors um people who's been body shamed and all of that but people don't give her a chance to hear her message they hear the name they hear the bleep walk and they just take it and run with it but if you really listen to her interviews and her message you will see that she's actually doing an amazing thing she's just adding the shock value to what she's doing so people can pay attention but if you actually visit her website and listen to listen to her most recent interview with big boy in the morning she's really doing amazing things for people but this is just adorable with the two of them and I also went ahead and included you know clips um, from you know the event on, with them on their way to the event and on you know uh, not snapchat insta, insta snap whatever it's called having fun together and just having a good time I love love you guys know that I say that all the time when I post up with Rachel and Brian from the um, bachelorette I love love I'm wishing these two nothing but blessings and hey lifetime to get it if that's what it is you know if Amber love him be happy girl I like it I'm not here to judge people or say what people should look like together any of that be happy enjoy your life and i'm wishing emma rose and 21 savage nothing but the best all right not love i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i'm wishing you on an amazing day and remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless